Sunday vlog, back at it again. Let's do it. Before we begin, I'd like to let it be known that somebody once told me that I like make almost everything I say into something motivational. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I think I turn everything I say into something motivational. I don't, I don't think so. Either way, it goes about to go on a run. It's like 5, 6 p.m. I did homework. That's all I did today is just homework. And I ate my fruits and all my stuff. Right now, I'm just about to fill up my water jug before I go on this run because I'm not trying to get parched and get dehydrated and pass out while I'm running. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm in the car. Water filled up. But since y'all want to say I take everything and turn it motivational, don't you know it was a process to fill that water up? I had to walk. I had to hold the gallon. I had to push the button on the fountain to fill that thing up. So if it's a process to fill that up, don't you know it's a process to fill yourself up spiritually? Jesus said, Jesus said, I forget what Jesus said. I found it. Jesus said, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Never. Fill yourself up. Stop thinking that it's a one-step process and it's going to happen right away. It takes steps. Take those steps today. Dang. I guess I do make everything motivational. Hey, yo, Ren, turn that up. We have arrived. Time to get warmed up, stretched, and listen to some music in the meantime. one thing about it i'm gonna get my sunset it's gonna get prettier than than than, than oh oh wow stutter it's gonna get prettier than this just wait all right we made it to our destination i got my bag and stuff down already time to get started with this run probably gonna run i don't know if i want to run by time or by distance i might do like two three miles but if y'all see me sweat when i'm back then Y'all know I did it for the proof, so I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna stop until I'm soaked. So we'll see how long that takes. And if y'all, if y'all want proof, my other phone says 606 on it. So we'll see how long that takes. And we begin. Get a little pace going. Be back when I'm done. Time is now 6, 19. That proof right there. It's been 13 minutes. I ran two miles so far. Boy, this stuff ain't no joke. Got a little bit of sweat on my shirt, if you don't think I'm for real. I'm a little thirsty though, I ain't gonna lie. We got one more lap around, and then that's a wrap. Thought I heard it snake or something uh yeah one more lap i'll catch y'all when i'm done i don't know what more i gotta prove but y'all see the shirt y'all see it we did three miles like 18 19 minutes it was tough but we made it
got a question to ask y'all as I'm leaving and closing out this video. So just follow along with me. If you were taking a test at school and you failed it, you wouldn't blame the school for you failing the test, right? You'd probably blame the teacher. Like we, like most of us do, right? Okay, so you would blame the teacher because the teacher's the one that's supposed to be handing you guys out the information for the test, right? So, most of the time, the teacher teaches off of what? For the most part, a textbook, right? So, if you had never read the textbook and you only listened to what the teacher said, is it 100% the teacher's fault or is it your fault too that you failed the test? If accountability is in this equation, you would probably say you played a role in failing the test because you only listened to what the teacher said. You didn't study. But once again, you're not blaming the school for you failing the test. Are you following along? So on that same logic, why would you blame an entire church or an entire religion based off of a mistake you saw a pastor make? I may ask you, did you read your Bible? If we're on the same logic, because once again, you wouldn't blame the entire school. You blame the teacher, but you wouldn't blame the teacher because you never studied in the textbook. So you wouldn't blame the entire church. You blame the pastor, but you wouldn't blame the pastor had you would have been in your Bible. See, there are steps that you're not taking, of course. But once again, that's why I asked you a question. So I don't know. I just wanted to ask that, leave that there. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think. The sunset behind me is beautiful once again. I'll see y'all. Actually, I'll see y'all tomorrow because I'm getting my braces removed. See ya.